I had my friend called and essentially ruined the video. So here we are continuing. Um, so basically, uh, this is problematic for a few different things uh, in modern medicine, which we're continuing to uh, figure out. But, um, you know, chemotherapy and, and certain medications have to be uh, adjusted in, in a sense to help uh, get past the blood brain, which is uh, very resilient. Some vitamins have a great way of processing through the blood brain barrier. The, uh, the vertebrate neurons need to be uh, nourished, um, so sugar is a big fuel in, in the brain. Um, it's one of the few nutrients that can actually avoid through the blood brain barrier. Um, obviously I talked about oxygen, so 20% of all oxygen is consumed by the body is used by the brain. So the neurons need steady supply of oxygen. Um, the body uh, needs specific vitamins to help uh, trans transmit the uh, glucose um, so that would be vitamin um, thiamine or uh, E complex um, prolonged thiamine deficiency actually leads to death of neurons and uh, messes with your brain it's a huge result of alcoholism uh, you start to kind of get a memory impairment which is a closer cost that's so make sure it's The electrical message that is transmitted down the axon of a neuron does not travel directly down the axon, but is regenerated at points along the axon, so it is not leaking. So usually you can get nodes of NVR, they help kind of carry it along. The speed of a nerve impulse ranges from less than 1 meter a second to 100 meters a second. Uh, so a touch on the shoulder uh, may not be completely equal to a touch on your, your hand because it's closer to your brain so it's less time to travel. Uh, the brain is not set up to uh, register small differences in the time of arrival of touch messages. However, in vision movement and uh, must be detected as accurate as possible. So the uh, the, uh, right, uh, the way the eyes are designed it's, it's very, it take, picks up a lot of messages at once. The properties of impulse control are well adapted to the exact needs of information transfer to the nervous system. Uh, the resting potential of the neuron. Uh, this is really important. So uh, this is when we start looking at how these, uh, how the neuron, it, how it balances and how it communicates. So so everything is in order, you know, because it's like an electrical charge um, that's consistent that needs to, to get through the whole uh, body and for you to. To be a a workable vessel that can, you know, essentially live in the world and move around and make a reasonable thoughts. Because the brain is, uh, you're using certain aspects of your brain uh, during all processes. Yeah, even just watching this video. So at rest, the membrane maintains an electrical gradient, um, just known as polarization. A difference in the electrical charge inside and outside the cell. So basically, uh, you have the negative 70 uh, millivolts is where, it, where, your, uh, where your resting potential sits. Uh, all it takes is one, one specific hit and uh, it, it can set off the entire uh, actual potential and uh, create a charge. And uh, I mean, any, anything could vary under these instances. And you could go and, you know, and be completely wired or you can be at rest, um, depending on um, what, you, what your nervous system is, what signals are being sent. Uh, we'll go over the um, that later. Uh, thank you for watching.